From balancing your sex hormones to helping improve metabolic markers, going on a low-carb diet has been touted to be very beneficial for your health. Although it is not yet clear what possible health risks are associated with a low-carb diet in the long term, in this video, we discuss the great and not-so-great effects of going on a low-carb diet. When you first start out on a low-carb diet, for most people, the first day typically goes by without much changes. However, by the second or third day, you may begin to experience some flu-like symptoms including headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, nausea, brain fog, and irritability. This happens because your body is trying to keep going without glycogen, which it usually gets from carbs you consume. And when no carbs come into your system, it starts to break down fats to use as fuel. Now, having your body break down fats may sound appealing. However, when compared with glucose, fat is a much slower source of fuel, thus it will take a lot longer for your body to access it, which explains why you may feel fatigue or lethargy. A low-carb diet can also bring about some or all of the following. Number 1. It may lead to weight loss. When on a low-carb diet, at first you will lose water weight due to the lack of glycogen, which helps your body retain water. And by week two or three, you'll go into a state of ketosis where your body burns fat for fuel, which can potentially lead to weight loss. Cutting out carbs and having extra protein and fats in your diet also helps you feel fuller for longer and helps you eat less. Number two, it may help lower blood sugar. Low carb diets that focus on healthy sources of carbs, fat and protein may help lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. This happens because cutting out bad carbs helps to normalize blood glucose levels and helps reverse insulin resistance, which is one underlying problem that contributes to type 2 diabetes and obesity. Number 3. It may put some extra burden on your heart and liver. Most low-carb diets are also high in fats, which can give your liver a lot more fat to process and lead to a rise in both good HDL and bad LDL cholesterol, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Disease. If you decide to go low carb, ensure that you focus on healthy fats such as olives, avocados, and nuts. Number four, it may worsen kidney problems. Being in a state of nutritional ketosis from a low carb diet could raise uric acid levels, which can lead to kidney stones or gout. So always seek out a dietitian or physician when going on an extremely low carb diet. Number five, it can help balance your sex hormones. We know that the food we eat impacts everything about our bodies and our hormones are not left out. When your system is filled with simple carbs, it stresses out your body, and this state of anxiety reduces your body's ability to produce sex hormones efficiently and can even affect sperm health in men by negatively impacting sperm count, sperm motility, and sperm morphology or shape. Now when you consume meals high in protein, fat, fiber, and complex carbs, your hormones regulate and hormonal conditions such as low testosterone, PCOS and infertility improve. Number five, it may cause constipation. When on a low carb diet, be sure to keep up with your fiber intake as most low carb diets are low in fiber. Also make sure to stay hydrated and get enough electrolytes, which will help balance your body water and nourish your cells. Number six, it reduces inflammation. Consuming a processed and carb rich diet often means high levels of added sugars and industrial oils such as corn oil, canola oil, and the like are present in your cells system, and this causes high levels of inflammation in the body. Now if you cut out processed foods and start a low-carb lifestyle, your body's levels of inflammation will reduce, you'll feel less bloated, and your immune function will increase. If you got value from this video, do give it a thumbs up and click on the video on the screen for more.